When I was in high school, I was very fortunate to have a mentor tell me that I should go to pharmacy school. I didn't know any pharmacists, but she told me to do it because we needed more black pharmacists. It's been almost 20 years since I graduated pharmacy school and there's still a diversity gap in the healthcare workforce. I felt like I should do something about that. So I did. I created the Dream Expo. DREAM stands for Diversifying, Representation, and Enriching Aspiring Minds. The purpose of the event is to expose underrepresented minorities to advanced careers in healthcare. I had a bunch of ideas of how I wanted the day to look, and it definitely took a village to pull it all off. So I would like to thank the SJU, Philadelphia College of Pharmacy, and the PCP SNAFA chapter, PCOM's Health Career Collaborative Medical Students, and the Philly Student Doctors for recruiting the area's top students majoring in pharmacy, medicine, physical therapy, dentistry, and veterinary medicine. I also want to thank every healthcare provider who I called, texted, emailed, and DM'd who volunteered their time to show up on a Saturday for these young people. You made our speed networking activity absolutely incredible. My name is Sierra McNeil. I'm a social worker. Um, however, my titles are Director of Workforce Development, and I'm also the president of NASW. My name is Kylie Tomlinson. I'm an occupational therapist that graduated from St. Joe's in May 2023. Today was great. I got a chance to talk to the students, um, to educate them about social work. Um, a lot of them had no idea what social work was, which was okay, um, but it was a very fun conversation. And I also had a cool video to show them like what is social work and everything that we can do. So it was great to sort of see the response and hear, oh, I didn't know that I, that was a social worker, or I didn't understand that's something that I could do. Um, so today was a, a great experience for me to talk to middle school, middle school students and, and educate them about social work. It's amazing. I get to talk to young kids who are not really sure what path they want to take um, and hopefully I'm helping them figure out what might be best for them. Hi, my name is Dr. Grin. I use she, her pronouns. I am an adolescent medicine fellow at the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia. Hi. My name is Mark Paris. I am a physician at Children's House of Philadelphia and the University of Pennsylvania. Specifically, I'm a pediatric anesthesiologist at CHOP and an assistant professor of clinical anesthesiology and clinical care medicine at the University of Pennsylvania. It's been an incredible um, event, just meeting some young um, individuals and just like really like learning about medicine and talk about the role to become a doctor and um, what it takes to become a doctor and also like mentorship and how much and how important that is actually to really become a doctor um, in, in this country. Today was great. I got to speak with a bunch of sixth, seventh, and eighth graders about what it's like to be an anesthesiologist. I got to show them what it's like to be in an operating room, the tools that we use, um, and the methods that we use uh, to get kids safely to sleep and awake. Uh, so it was a great time, and I hope to come back next year. Hi, my name is Dr. Ronald Smith Jr., uh, PharmD, RPH. I am a pharmacist. I thought today was a great event, uh, just showing our youth that there are black and brown people that are in these uh, spaces that they do attain to get to. I think it is great as you can't be what you can't see. Hi, my name is Monet Getza. I'm an RN that currently works for Prison Career Institute full time and I work PRN at Temple Episcopal in the ER. Today was everything I wished I would have had as a youngster. To the facilitators, panelists, and speakers who provided engaging workshops for the parents, thank you. To all the volunteers that showed up at 6.30 in the morning, your efforts did not go unnoticed. Thank you to the sponsors and every organization that made a financial contribution so that we can offer food, fun, transportation, and other components that contributed to this memorable experience. As you can see, your money was well spent. A special shout out to Dr. Kathleen Walls, clinical psychologist and former middle school teacher who not only participated in healthcare provider speed networking, but also conducted a mental health workshop for the middle school students. To every parent and caregiver who woke up a cranky child at six o'clock in the morning on a Saturday to come to the Dream Expo, thank you. 
It took an entire village to pull this day off and it's going to take an entire village to raise up these young people, to guide them, to love them, to mentor them, to achieve their dreams. They're counting on us and we will not let them down. So stay tuned for more from Health Educated and I hope to see you next year at the Dream Expo 2025.